Hey YouTube, this is Nick with EDC Mag, and today we're going to talk about the Yuna Knives Hard 3. Before we get into that, I want to show you guys this real quick. This is something I picked up recently. Uh, I've been wearing just a standard G-Shop for a while. I'm not a major watch guy. I like to throw something on my wrist and just forget about it and it needs to be able to handle whatever I'm throwing at it at it whether that be you know jumping in the shower or beating around in the garage or whatever the case may be I want it to be able to take it and I've been wearing this G-Shock for probably about a year and uh, it's it's served me well it's done exactly what I've asked of it but I was kind of ready for something new so I came across this and like the aesthetics of it, like the way it looked, so I thought I'd give it a shot. This is the Geared Hardware ZX2. Comes in a really nice little presentation box. Very cool. Has all your info purchase date, warranty card, all that stuff. So I've been wearing this watch for about two weeks now and I saw quite a few unboxings on YouTube. So I thought I'd, instead of doing an unboxing, I'd just uh, give you guys a report. One thing about this when I grabbed it, I do like bigger watches and I've had watches, I had a, and I've been kind of embarrassed to admit it, but <laughs> I had an Invicta. I had a couple of Invictas. When I first got into watches, I didn't know a whole lot about them. And so I, I tried some, some uh, along with Invictas, and uh, one of those was the Zeus Bolt. And that damn thing weighed right about a pound. And it was heavy just, I think, for the sake of being heavy. So when I got this, they mentioned that it was a big a big watch. And it is it is a big watch. It's a 50 millimeter face. These things are, they use Japanese movement, but they were designed and are assembled here in the USA. Uh, they kind of, you know, promote these as being a strong, tough, bold, in-your-face kind of watch. They use hard lex glass and they claim a lifetime warning. So I've had a little bit of interaction with these guys and so far things have been pretty good. I've been wearing this watch very pleasantly surprised how much this thing actually didn't weigh. And I was looking on their website and I didn't see anything that talked about weight. So let's kind of throw it out there and see. It's about five and a half ounces, which to me, that's that's not heavy. Um, and this just does not feel heavy. It's super comfortable on the wrist, like a watch should be. You you can forget that you have it on. It's it's easy to read. Um, it's backlit. I don't know if that's going to show up, but you can take my word for it. It is backlit. Just a good looking watch, and they have a lot of different bands that you can get. I, I like these. Uh, the way you order it is you pick your face, and then you choose the band that you want to order with it. I chose this just because I kind of like the, they call them barbells look. It's silicone. It's very pliable, very soft. Goes on and off really easy. I think after wearing this for a while, this gets a little warm on my, on my wrist, and I'm thinking maybe I'm going to swap out for a carbon fiber they have a, a lot of different styles of bands that you can get they all run about 40 bucks these they have about five different styles of watches um, models and they range anywhere from 190 to around 240 if you go on their website they have a a discount code for your first purchase so you get 20 bucks off so this was about 190 
Um, you know, so it ends up coming out about 170, which is pretty good price for this, I think. Um, I've been really pleased with it so far. You know, my my Oakley Time Tank uh, is uh, batteries long long dead, but you know, from a size comparison, uh, this thing is just about perfect for me. So, Geared Hardware, check them out. They have a cool website, um, G E A R D Hardware, Geared Hardware. Dot com. They're on Instagram as well. Uh, give these guys a look. Check them out. See what you think. Uh, so far, I've been very, very pleased with this watch. So, there you go. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk about this. This is the Una Knives Hard 3. And this thing is spectacular. This is a brand new build. First thing that you'll notice with this knife is it comes, they come with this beautiful leather, custom leather pouch. I don't know if he makes these or if he hasn't made for him, but man, these are nice. They're just beautiful leather. Really cool. Uh, comes with the builder's card. It's actually wood, which is kind of neat. So it's the hard three. It's M390. It's got a TI bolster and carbon fiber, among other things. And he comes with this extra clip, which is kind of neat. That's carbon fiber. <clears throat> now, Yuna is a custom maker in Thailand, and he's been making knives for, oh, a couple decades anyway. And he has quite a few different models. I think this is one of his, <clears throat> excuse me, one of his more popular models. This is the Unihard 3, and there are four different blade shapes in the Hard series, and they're just Hard 1, Hard 2, Hard 3, Hard 4. This is the Hard 3, the recurved blade shape, and there's a recurved Tanto as well. These things are just absolutely stunning. <clears throat> when I look at a knife, I, one of the things that always uh, grabs my attention first is a recurve. I just love a recurve and this is just an absolutely gorgeous blade. Now this is three and a half inches. It's M390 steel. It's hand rubbed satin. Man this thing is gorgeous. This blade is just amazing. And he's a one-man shop out of Thailand. Una Knives uh, comes from a combination of his name and his wife's name and he makes some incredible stuff this is on bearings it's a frame lock there's just so much I'm not even sure where to start with this knife it's uh, man it's just an amazing blade absolutely stunning There are several ways to deploy this. Um, you've got your flipper tab up here that actually will work as a push button or pull tab. And then you can use this, which, you know, thrills me to no end as a thumb flipper. And that that's just phenomenal. Now he designs these function first. Yoon is a lifelong martial artist, and the inspiration for his knives comes from his martial arts. He studied several different styles of martial arts, so these are considered fighting style knives, which, <clears throat> yeah, that makes sense. Some of the unique features on this knife that I've, I really love are, for one, this huge choil. It's, I mean, <laughs> it's... It's massive, and even though this is just a three and a half inch blade, um, he's extended out the back. Let's see if you can see this, the back of the knife here, so that when you're holding this thing, you've still got uh, a weapon back here. Your hand's not going to swallow that up. So if you need to apply some pressure, you know, pressure points are very important within martial arts. Um, this is a good tool to do that with. So this is a useful useful tool, open or closed. Now he does, 
almost does finger choils for every finger so instead of your hand just kind of figuring out where it wants to be there's a guide here that put your fingers where the knife wants you to have them now personally I would like to I'd love to have this in a bigger bigger blade but man this thing feels good in hand and it does give you you know the back end that you that you want or that I want that I'm looking for um, but choking up on this thing is is insane I mean there's some really great jumping all over this knife He's got his own proprietary pivot, which he's using pretty much standard screws. However, that <laughs> so I guess you could probably get the carbon fiber off, but you know, disassembling this might be a challenge. Not that I ever would, but. I really like how he's incorporated an over travel stop with the pivot on this in carbon fiber. That's a really neat design feature. The clip, while not a bearing clip, functions very well. It's pretty basic as far as that goes. It's just a very unique knife, uh, very aesthetically pleasing. It's there's nothing else similar to this. I mean, a lot of swooping movements. I mean, I would equate this if you're into martial arts. This is kind of like a wushu style, just a lot of very big sweeping uh, movements to make. You know, the point of wushu is, and you see it a lot in movies, is to make you appear bigger than you actually are so there's a lot of big arm movements a lot of big sweeping movements and that's kind of what I see in this just uh, just some beautiful beautiful lines to make this thing look you know actually even bigger than it it, it really is uh, this carries very well um, you know I really haven't found a downside to this knife it's it's unique um, man I just He's got a very light flame anno on the on the titanium. So you've got, you know, I'd say four ways. I don't know if I can do it under here. The detent is set so that you can There you go. You can't open this without using a stud. You can do it one-handed very easy or fairly easy anyway. But however you want to do it for me, I'm big on thumb studs. Um, that just makes a knife for me. That's just, you know, for me, a natural way to open a knife. But this thing is gorgeous from every angle. Technically, you could call this a full dress knife because everything, you know, even on the, on the lock side as well, everything has been addressed. Nothing has been left raw. absolutely beautiful knife now one thing I did notice on this particular model is there's no jimping up here on the tab I know he does put jimping on tab on the tab sometimes for whatever reason he didn't on this one but uh, you know I mean it, it's on bearings so it just deploys so easy it's not really any type of issue whatsoever and that tab is set up well enough so that I don't think you know you're never gonna actually accidentally not deploy this when you want to I mean it just deploys with a quickness any way you want to do it uh, just give you a little size comparison here our trusty old Kershaw Ooh, serrated oh no <laughs> A uh, significant difference there, even though, you know, 3.2 inch blade, 3.5 inch blade, you know, this blade is a little bit taller. It's got a gorgeous fat belly on it and that recurve. And, uh, you know, man, it's. It's 
It's kind of like putting a Volkswagen next to a Maserati. Um, but you get the idea. Uh, for a three and a half inch knife, this thing is just, it's a, it's a big full bold design. Now he, he has S models. There's hard and there's hard S. And in the S models, uh, he uses thicker blade stock and thicker handles, thicker barrels, just the same length, the same overall size, but everything's just a little bit more beefy. So if, if you want, you know, the absolute take out in the forest and chop down a tree type knife, you know, get the hard S, look into the hard S, it's just bigger and beefier. Now let's see what this thing weighs. Uh oh, here comes my ride. <laughs> All right, seven point eight, so a little over seven and a half ounces. All right, that's pretty good. It's a little heavy, but this is a lot of titanium, and it is a thick blade. I mean, it's a tall blade, and that's always going to affect the weight. Now these start base model at 985 bucks according to his website and then depending on how you have it finished and the materials used it goes up from there. Uh, I'm sure he can do just about anything you want done. I was familiar with Una knives. a good friend of mine uh, VP has one and uh, I've been lusting over his for a while so when this came up as available man I, I just I had to jump on it and I just really wanted a chance to play with this thing honestly if, if it was a little whoop, if it was a little bigger in the blade uh, I don't know man this would be this would be hard to beat I mean it still is as it sits I, I just I've found nothing wrong with this knife so far. It's just a stunning, gorgeous knife. I love the lines. I love the feel in hand. Just gorgeous. <clears throat> I don't see a lot of these out in the wild. I've seen a few. But, you know, he's he's there in Thailand making these one at a time. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not like there's a, a ton of them out there. I think when people get them, they keep them. But go to his <clears throat> website, unanives.com. You can check him out on Instagram. And just, he's got, I don't know, pro he's got quite a few different models. And then he's got different versions of those models. So there's a huge selection. There's This is 3.5. He does make some 4-inch uh, models as well. And some smaller mini versions of these and some others. So, you know, there's kind of something for everyone. Uh, depending on what you're looking for but from a quality and an aesthetic standpoint man this thing is just cool as hell I'm just very impressed with it it's just gorgeous it's somewhat subtle I mean the design kind of screams back off but you know the way it's this particular models finished it's not you know it's not necessarily screaming look at me although you know with the lines and everything you're not gonna pull this out of your pocket and something and people are gonna notice it I mean it's not a you know it's not something that's just gonna blend into the crowd this is a very unique unique blade oh one more thing <clears throat> this Backspacer is actually Moon Glow, which I guess is neat. I really don't get it. <laughs> um, hey, okay, you know if <laughs> if you want your knife to glow in the dark, I guess. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> it, it seems pointless to me, but I know a lot of people dig that kind of stuff, so it's in there. And then the 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 uh, lanyard hole is way up here I mean it could have easily been back here design choice by you was put it up here which is fine I'm definitely not a lanyard guy so it's not gonna be of any type of significance to me but um, you know if you've got a lanyard on it and it's in your pocket that lanyards uh, you know it's gonna be in your pocket for a little bit a little ways down as well so 
Anyway, there you go, guys. Unihard 3. This thing is badass. I love this knife. This is cool. Uh, just very unique. Very well done. Gorgeous little beast. So check out Uni Knives. Check out Geared Hardware. And get yourself geared up. Well, hey guys, I appreciate you watching. This is Nick with EDC Mag. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. We've got a whole lot more coming up. And until next time, have a great day.